struggling with post-workout recovery? Swimmers not swimming to everyone's satisfaction? Your milkshake not bringing all the boys and the girls to the yard? Well, the answer isn't in blue pills, red pills, or the mystery powders that always been pushing on me. The answer is pineapple. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. So there are tons of diets out there. We have the vertical diet, we have the keto diet, we have the vegan diet, the OMAD diet, the list goes on and on, but none of us ever talk about the pineapple diet, AKA the male porn star diet. So in today's video, I'm gonna be incorporating pineapple into all of my meals. Why do you ask? Great question. Well, it's an enzyme rich, anti-inflammatory superfood and well, it just saves any failing relationship. All right, so very quickly before we get into the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pick a good pineapple because that's probably pretty important, especially if you guys are gonna follow along in the video with me. So uh, Katie actually told me yesterday, it's if the leaf comes out willingly, at least one of them does. There we go, see that's good pineapple, something that every man and woman should know. All right, so for breakfast, we got a party food situation going on. So I made quite the hefty and thick pineapple salsa here. So we got some salsa, a juice of one whole lime, cilantro, red pepper, red onion, and some jalapeno. And then on the side, we got some uh, Quest loaded taco chips. Good thing that these are very sturdy and well-built to handle this uh, salsa. So what's going on on these? It's not every day you smell a chip that just smells like pure romaine lettuce. You know what? I have run a chip through many salsas in my day. And I must say, this is unreal. It actually carries this chip. It's a lot like any song with DJ Khaled. You don't even know he's there, you know what I mean? Ollie, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Ollie wants to try some pineapple. But wait, let's just see if it's okay. First of all, you self-proclaimed vets out there. Can dogs eat pineapple? Yes, raw pineapple in small amounts is an excellent snack for dogs. Okay, Ollie, here, dude, come here. Too bad you're neutered, dude. What do you think? Good? Okay. No, can't have more. Dude, I shouldn't give you any. Don't get me wrong, these are a very good chip, very respectable taste. I think my only critique would be, once you put it in your mouth, you get flavor for literally two seconds and like it just vanishes out of nowhere. It kind of just tastes like, when your mom buys you off-brand cereal. It just tastes like absolutely nothing. So if you buy these, just be prepared for two seconds of greatness and then it'll just abruptly end kind of just like my life. Can you stop licking my leg? It's not pineapple, bro. Maybe pineapple makes your skin taste good too. Ultimate superfood. The pineapple left me some love juice. Bro, I literally have no more pineapple, man. And you're not getting any of my Quest chips. Salsa all done, still working on the chips. That ratio of salsa to chip was quite off, but this was incredible. Definitely one that you want to bring to the party. That is for sure, because you never know where you're going to end up. And in that case, you're just safe, you know? As long as everyone gets to eat it. Ooh, bro. Okay, hey. Nothing attracts Ollie more than the smell of a loaded taco. Isn't that right, buddy? Ooh. So today is an off day from the weights, but as you guys know, I like to do something every single day, whether that be cardio or abs, but let's face it, just cardio, mainly because it gives me an excuse to have pre-workout every single day. So the pre-workout I have is from Blue Star PPK. It is the pineapple mango flavor. It tastes sick. Link in the description, 10 10, 10% off. So we were actually gonna be doing an ab challenge today, specifically the Chloe Ting 500 rep ab challenge. I was like, you know what? This is something to do. It's something new. I like to mix it up a little bit. So. We are gonna have some pre-workout for an ab workout. That's just something that I do. And then we're gonna see how it goes. Look at that color. Nice and vibrant. Just today we're aiming for 500 reps. 
lots of ab exercises in this quick 10 minutes ab workout. Don't expect to get all 500 reps down the first time you try it, especially if you have knee. You'll get stronger over time. Okay, challenge accepted. Now Start by having your legs upright and throttle it down. Nicely done guys, now sit on the butt and oh. slightly and then bring some Chloe, do you rest, girl? Come on. Oh, this girl's an animal. Jesus Christ. This is a sign. I do some more abs here. Oh, I hate reverse crunch. We've got bicycle. Oh. Just focus on engaging that core, guys. Work that core. Come on, guys. You can do this. Alright, now put in a side plank position and do some crunches. Do it slow and control. It's totally fine. Just focus on engaging the core. And the last exercise is mountain climbers. And that's the workout, guys. Hope your abs feel completely oh. smashed. Don't hate me too much because I love you all. Oh, I hate her. I hate you, Chloe. Okay, well, that was a clear sign that I gotta do some more abs. So I think I was just a casual, like 150 reps short. So you guys should give that workout a trial. Link it down below. Let me know how many reps you guys get. So I'm gonna go shower now and then make some lunch. Okay, so for lunch today, I couldn't really think about what to make, so I thought of a stir fry, because stir fry is a lot like me at a rake. You can throw anything in it, and it's gonna be a good time. So here we have five ounces of chicken breast that I sauteed up. Over here, I have a, a whole bag of this riced cauliflower. Now, I love riced cauliflower. I think it's one of those things, like one of those diet foods that actually tastes a lot like what it's supposed to taste. Like, I find it tastes a lot like rice. So I actually love it, highly recommend riced cauliflower. So I put the whole entire bag into the pan. Of course, we're gonna add some more pineapple. And then I made some sort of like an Asian style sauce. So in it, I put in uh, two tablespoons of PP2. Whenever I have a chance to add in a nut, I'm gonna do it. Uh, some riced wine vinegar, uh, some sriracha. I put in half a lime and then some soy sauce. Mix it all up with a boatload of cilantro. So I find people are either passionately pro cilantro or anti cilantro. There is no middle ground. So simple fix, just don't put it in. So that is gonna be the meal portion of lunch. And then on the side, we're gonna be making some homemade pineapple juice. So I've never made juice in my life. So I know I say to not drink your calories, but guys, you gotta think of others sometimes. So I'm gonna put this all together and then make the juice and then eat lunch. Oh, it's not sliced. I thought this would be sliced. So we got some sort of like a pineapple fleshlight looking thing. Okay, interesting. Why, are they not, why is it not sliced? What the heck? Oh, this is a very pungent pineapple. Oh yeah. Oh, chicken. Give that a little saute. So now it's time to add the egg. So what we gotta do is add a little well to the middle. You get a little egg here, a little gentle spank, and then right in the middle like that. You mix everything else in with it. And last but not least, we're gonna add our sauce. Mix it up and just let it simmer for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna go and make Okay, time to make the juice. Okay, so I have never made juice in my life, like I said, so I'm just gonna completely wing this recipe and we'll see how it turns out. So just gonna start off with a little bit of water going into um, the, the Ninja's Ugly Brother, the Vitamix. This will probably just help the pineapple kind of blend along. Then I'm gonna add just the rest of the fresh pineapple from this morning into the blender. So the question is, why should athletes be drinking pineapple juice? So pineapple has a digestive enzyme known as bromelain, which has some anti-inflammatory properties, which can help ease symptoms of arthritis and can also help you uh, recover faster from your training. So it's a pretty good thing to have every single day. I'm just gonna go in one full, full lemon. I don't even know if lemon and pineapple even go together, but again, we'll see. And then of course, we're gonna add some stevia to enhance that sweetness of the pineapple. So we need some artificial sweetener with nature's 
sweetener. Okay, that seems about right. And now we're just gonna blend it. Okay, that looks like it should be good. So now here I have a cheesecloth. So what we're gonna do is put the cheesecloth over top of the glass. This, this does not seem like I'm doing it right, but. Whoa. Oh, it smells good. Good little pineapple nut sack. We gotta milk out every last drop. So look at all that stuff we're keeping out of there. Okay, quick little taste test. Oh, smells like I'm in the Caribbean. Oh, wow. If this had some rum in it, this would be insanely good, but this is unreal. Highly recommend you guys try that out. So all it was, was around like a cup of pineapple, a full lemon, half a cup of water, and then around a teaspoon of stevia. All right, so the calories of this dish will be on the screen right now. Cauliflower rice gives you tons of volume, highly recommend it. So we're gonna add some uh, sriracha sauce on it to spice up the kitchen and then the pineapple juice to spice up the bedroom a little bit later. All right, let's go in. Oh yeah. Pineapple just enhances like every dish, even savory dishes. I don't understand the pineapple and pizza haters. It's to freaking counteract the saltiness of the cheese, the meat, and all those things, but you taste budless people wouldn't understand. I find sriracha to be an underrated hot, hot sauce. All right, so it's about that time I have a snack and I didn't really feel like cooking. So we are here at the gas station to see if they have any pineapple flavored foods. Now I have pineapple all the time, but I wanna see how easily accessible it is for all you guys. So we're gonna go in, I have no idea if they even have anything and I'm just gonna get the first couple things I find and then we'll taste test it. All right, well that was monumentally disappointing. I thought I was gonna at least get some sort of like a candy. So I'm gonna be waiting for Max Chini to come up with a, the pineapple flavored sour strips. So I have this Calypso Taste of the Island drink, pineapple peach. So not even pineapple is the star of the show. It's kind of sharing the spotlight here. And this entire bottle is 190 calories, 46 grams of carbs, 46 grams of sugar. Not the most ideal snack. So what I did is I actually got this uh, pineapple sample of protein here. It's a Caribbean cooler, and I'm gonna add them together because I definitely need some protein because this is not gonna be satisfying at all. So I'm gonna add that together. Ooh, okay. Has a little pina colada vibe to it. All right, bottoms up. Oh, that is nice. It has, a, it has a little bit of coconut. Yeah, there's a little bit of coconut in that protein. It tastes like a, it tastes exactly like a pina colada with like an additional pineapple, which is unreal. The one good thing about drinking all the pineapples is that I think fluids absorb faster and therefore the effects would come on a little bit faster and it's good because I have a date tonight. So eating all this pineapple and drinking all this pineapple is bringing me back to a couple years ago where I would no joke have an entire fresh pineapple every single day. I'm not even kidding just for the video. I would literally have an entire pineapple every single day. I have no idea how my body and my stomach handled that acidity, and I have no idea how I was single, but I was. And I would assume after having a full pineapple every single day, there'd be some sort of accumulation effect. I don't know, but I've had no complaints. All right, so I'm gonna give that a solid one out of 10 on the satisfaction scale, which just means I'm gonna have a super early dinner. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is 523, which is a pretty early dinner for me, but that protein shake did not do it. So when I think of pineapple, the first thing that comes to my mind is, why am I wearing sweatpants right now? But I also think about Hawaii and tuna. Fun fact, Hawaii is actually responsible for growing one third of the world's pineapple. So we're gonna be making some massive tuna burger. And I actually put an Instagram story up the other day, but I'll put on the screen right now of me having tuna. And probably I would say 97% of you guys thought I was eating like raw steak. Like, come on people. So we're gonna be searing this tuna raw, like how it's meant to be eaten. And then obviously you're gonna add the pineapple as the bun. So we're not gonna be using bread, we're using this as the bun. And then what else should I put in there? So hmm. I'm actually just winging this right now. So probably avocado, love an avocado. Kimchi looks pretty good. Kimchi, avocado, pineapple, tuna. And then I found this. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. This is from Walden Farms. So this is like their new syrup, maple walnut. So we're gonna put that onto the pineapple and grill it. Cause I know like sugars are supposed to caramelize on the grill, although this is not real sugar, so hopefully chemicals get caramelized on the grill. So we're gonna add that to it. Oh, jalapeno, jalapeno, yeah. 
shrooms, it's always good. Probably go with a, a onion, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna saute the onions with the mushroom and the jalapeno. Put some uh, avocado on, some kimchi, lather some syrup onto the pineapple, grill it, put this burger together, and that's dinner. Okay, so this burger is gonna be epic. So let's put this thing together. So I have my uh, slightly seared uh, pineapples as the bun. We're gonna start with that. My beautiful piece of tuna. We're just gonna go with the full piece. I'm not even gonna cut it. Holy, yeah, there you go. And then I actually found this in my fridge. It's this pineapple fruit spread. So we're gonna use this as kind of like a, a relish situation, which I'm gonna put on top of that. There we go, spread that around. So what's the next thing here? There's so many things going on here. I don't really know how I'm gonna assemble it. Add some kimchi. Kimchi is such a pungent food. Wow. Kimchi, I'm gonna go with some tomato, which I would manage to salvage in a place you don't even wanna know where. Avocado, and then get our sauteed veggies. This is gonna be probably coming out the sides how I like it. This burger is gonna require a fork and knife, that's for sure. Just like that. And then for garnish, of course, because you guys know me and my love for cilantro, that's gonna go on top. And then last but not least, the top bun. And take a look at this. Like, what the heck? This should be in every single restaurant in the world. I cannot wait to get into this. All right, take a look at this thing. This thing is ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm even gonna attack this thing. I'm not gonna use any sort of knife or fork because this is a burger, although it's not a classic burger, I'm labeling it as one, so no fork and knife. It's all like pizza, it should not be had with a fork and knife, so. Got tons of paper towel on deck. Oh wow, this is a heavy burger. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, there's so many different components going on in here. Spiciness of the kimchi with the sweetness of the pineapple, and I put a little bit of salt on the pineapple too, so it's unfreaking real. Taste bud orgasm. That, that uh, pineapple relish is coming in, getting a different element of pineapple. It's like a little jam type of thing. Not really getting too much of the tomato. Didn't really need it. I can't even put this thing down. I'm like forced to eat it quick. I'm dripping down my forearm. All those juices going down my arm and all this paper towel. It's like a 15 year old boy that just discovered how to get past the parental controls. I'm curious, what is your favorite thing to have pineapple with? I like pineapple on pizza. I'm not like it, it must be on pizza. Like I'll have pizza without pineapple on it. I just think it, it adds to it. So what's something that you like to have that needs to have pineapple on it? Comment down below. I will say though, although this is incredible, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Actually, I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because I was about to critique it. It's a nine out of 10 because it is missing the bun. I would like the bun because I feel like a bun, like it's so, a sole purpose of a bun is just to keep your hands from not being dirty. What a meal. It looks like I just fisted a watermelon. Holy crap. I think it could be just because I barely had any sort of food since lunch. So maybe this tasted a lot better than it actually should have tasted. But that's not it for today. We still got dessert.
So just like my muscles and in the bedroom, I like to hit my food from different angles. So with that said, we have a protein pineapple upside down cake in the oven by the Protein Chef. So it's in there for 30 to 40 minutes. And I tried the raw batter when I was making the cake and it seems pretty promising because it tastes unreal. So I'm very excited for it. Uh, so we're gonna take it out and then I'll give you guys my honest review and then we're gonna do a rapid fire Q&A. As you guys can see, the pineapple juice is like leaking to the bottom of my oven, but it didn't say to strain the can of crushed pineapples. Cake part looks good. All right, so time to flip this upside down cake. So it was cooling for around 10 minutes. And Victoria, what are you cooking? Eggs, Eggs and avocado. the only thing I know how to cook. Eggs and avocado, <laughs> yet again, so. Diet swap coming soon. Okay, right. here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I heard that, that sounds good. Ready? Okay, look at that. It actually came out. Look at that, what do you think? It smells better than it looks, but I'll have a piece. You know, I ate pineapple, I ate pineapple all day today. Nothing but yeah. pineapple. What do you think about that? What do I think about you eating pineapple all day? Yeah. Your stomach's probably wrecked, I don't know. No, I feel good. You know, do you know pineapple benefits the females as well? Not just the men. I actually searched that up. I actually did know that already. You did know that? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? <laughs> if you guys were wondering the calories and macros of the entire cake, because the protein chef lists the macros for the entire cake, I, I guess he expects people like me are gonna be eating the whole entire thing, which I respect it. For the whole thing, it is 1,445 calories, 25 grams of fat, 218 grams of carbs, 87 grams of protein. But if you're only gonna have one slice, and this makes 10 slices of cake, you're looking at 145 calories a slice, two and a half grams of fat, 21.8 grams of carbs and 8.7 grams of protein. So I'm gonna cut a slice and then we're gonna do some sort of a rapid fire 20 questions Q&A. Well, oh, that's a juicy cake. Okay, if you guys are curious to see the inside, there it is. Doesn't look all that incredible. Definitely is screaming for some sort of whipped cream on top, but unfortunately I don't have any. All right, so let's do a quick little taste test before we get into the Q&A. So the bottom is a little bit burnt, but that's okay. It tastes exactly like overnight oats with pineapple on it. Really good, very sweet. I'll actually link the recipe in the description down below. So let's get into the Q&A. So the Q&A, uh, my buddy is behind the camera. He's gonna ask me a bunch of questions, rapid fire. I have no idea what he's gonna ask me. I'm just gonna answer truthfully on the fly and we'll see what happens. Question one, are cronuts acceptable in the donut community? Absolutely, yes. Question two, is Ollie Natty? Yes. Question three, any relation to Ben Tennyson? Not at all, surprisingly. Does Ollie squat more than you? Yes, have you seen those legs? Are you nervous about getting your own place? No, but I think it's gonna be weird being in it by myself for the first time ever, but I'm excited. Can you do a handstand? Hell no. Is it true Ollie's bench is more than yours? Not true. He's all legs, I'm all upper body. Raptors fan? Yes, totally. Would you ever go vegan? No. Is Ollie a better swimmer? Absolutely, yes. Even though he sinks, he sinks in five seconds, I sink in three. Are you my dad? You weren't supposed to find out this way. Can I have $5? Sure, you can find where I live. Harry Potter or Twilight? Harry Potter all day long. I actually haven't seen Twilight, but Harry Potter's sick. Are you ever doing the 20,000 calorie challenge? Yes, November. So be on the lookout for that. Do you plan on traveling when COVID clears up? Absolutely, attending around the world in the actual places of the episode will be unreal. Will you do another video featuring Greg Doucette? Yes, but in person, hopefully. Creatine worth it? That is a good question. I don't know. I've been on like five grams for like the past four years. I don't even know. I don't know. I would think yes, but. I'm not, go see Jeff Nippert's channel. Question 17. This is go question 17, lost count. Would you ever collab with Remington James? Yes, maybe we'll do like some sort of like a cook off, that'd be pretty cool. Pineapple donut? I've never had one, have I had one? I don't think I've ever had one, but I think that would be unreal. Question 19, do you watch ASMR? No, I think those are extremely creepy. Question 20, do you have a soul? I do, I'm a very nice guy, so. Those are some weird questions. But anyway, that is gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.